I do love doing this comedy thing, man. Got to go home for the holidays, man, see my family. It's crazy. I'm adopted. I was adopted when I was five years old. And ever since I got adopted, my dad's called me his $500 retard. Because that's what they paid for me. And I didn't really get the gist of that, though. Till my dad pulls out this box of stuff I made in kindergarten. You guys remember, like, the turkey tracing of your hand? Mine had, like, two thumbs. Like, yeah, I guess I was stupid. <laughs> that little son with the macaroni. Mine was just a plate of glue because I ate the macaroni. <laughs> Then my dad gets out my wrestling videos. He's like, let's watch your wrestling videos, huh? Superstar, let's watch them. Huh? Well, here's my dad taping my wrestling video. He'd start taping, but then he'd forget about me, start talking to the guy next to him. Then it'd just be the tape of the gym wall and my dad's voice. See that little fat boy out there? That's my $500 retard, huh? Out there look like two whales humping, huh? He's out there dancing. Now, if he wants to dance with that boy, why don't I just ask him to the prom out there in that, what's he call it, a uh, singlet? Is that what it's called? Single, that's what he's gonna be if he keeps on ass grabbing with them boys. I love you too, Dad. <laughs> I, man. I don't know, man. It's crazy. Like, my mom, she's really religious, but like hypocritically religious. Like, we went shopping. My mom's driving, listening to Christian music. She's singing along, Michael W. Smith. She's like, and friends are friends forever if the Lord's the Lord of them. Then, like, somebody cut her off. She rolls down the window. She's like, well, kiss my ass. And I'm like, and friends will not say never because the welcome will. I'm like, Mom, you're a hypocrite. That's what you are. <laughs> been fun, man. Guess I gotta get out of here, man. I do, I, you know, I, I talk a lot about my kids and stuff, and I'll tell you what, it's tough because being a single parent, I'll take my kids on the road with me. I got my four-year-old daughter in the St. Louis airport, got a little layover, I gotta go to the bathroom. I don't know what to do except take her in the bathroom with me. So I take her in there and I stand her in front of the door and I'm like, honey, don't move. Daddy will be out in a minute. I get my pants down around my ankles, my kid decides to run off. <laughs> Next thing I hear some guy's like, hey, anybody missing a kid? Like, yeah, that's mine, I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> then I heard what no dad wants to hear come out of his little four-year-old daughter's mouth. Gee, mister, your penis is bigger than my daddy's. <laughs> I know, I know. Of course I had to pinch it off and go see for myself. <laughs> sure enough, she's not a liar, not a liar. He was hung like sea biscuit. I swear. <laughs> look, okay, if you got kids, they walk in the bathroom on you, and then you got to start doing some explaining. You're right, all right, look. Boys got penises, girls got vaginas, that's just the way it is. That's great. All my family's together, we're eating. My kid decides to go around the table and count them. She's like, penis, penis, vagina, vagina, penis. Daddy, daddy, there's nine penises and five vaginas. That's a good count, baby, that's a good count. Actually, there's 10 penises because that lady in the dress back there is your Uncle Bob. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm Will C. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs>